my next project. Here, set up at two and a half inches. I'm gonna go ahead and rip all the styles and rails for the three doors right now. Get all of my boards ripped down to this width, and then we'll be able to start working on getting the ones we picked out for each section and cutting them to length. And then we'll go ahead and cut. Well, you'll just see. So it's very important to run your test pieces through there because I ran my first one through there and you can see it wasn't a good, I didn't have a good spot on the table saw mark. But I ran my second one through there and actually I ran all my test pieces I have through there and we've got pretty good fit. Some of these have a little bit of stuff in the middle here, but I don't mind moving the table saw over just a little bit if I need to and cleaning that out if I can't get it out with the scraper or something. So now that I got my test pieces, and these actually fit very nice on the, the plywood. So I, uh, I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go and run all my actual pieces through there now. I cut these three boards down in a more manageable size on the miter saw and now I'm going to cut on the final length here on the table saw. I label each of the corners so I know where they went. And there we go. These aren't too tight. They're, they're tight enough to hold it snug. And now we'll let that sit. Probably, I'll probably let it sit overnight. And then we'll come back out here tomorrow, sand it, get ready to install it on our cabinet door. I mean, on the cabinet. I went ahead and started without you guys, but I'm going to catch you up here. What I did is, let's see, 
I can't tell if you're gonna be able to see that or not. But if you can't, there's an eye right here for inside. I made a mark right there for three inches up. I did that on both ends for three inches. And then I came back and I put my hinge on here and I marked, I put it at the bottom of this line, I marked the inside of the circles. I set my drill bit very low to drill these holes. And now I'm about to drill these holes in the center of these four dot, of these six dots. I'm just gonna show you this on one of them because it's pretty much gonna be the same process on all three of these. There we go, one down, two to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the hinges on those other two, and then we'll go ahead and get these ready to get installed. I marked the center of this two by four, and I want the outside of the hinge to line up with that right there. So what I did is I marked the top hole, just the first one, and I'm gonna drill it right now. And then once I get that one drilled, I'm gonna put the screw in it, and then we'll level the door and put the bottom ones in. putting a single coat of polyurethane on these because I don't think that I just want to offer a little bit of protection this is a shop project like as you can see so I don't think we need to go way overboard with what we're doing for this this happens to be the first project you're checking out of mine then you go ahead and hit that subscribe button you'll see other projects I have going on in the shop and around the house and, and things like that if you have any comments or questions leave them below in the comment section and I'll answer those on my monthly recap. I'm glad you guys stuck around. Thanks for watching, and as always, y'all will see me next time.